it, it, it's not something we're going to talk about because it's the tournament's next week and, and we've got a lot in front of us. It, you know, it, it's a tremendous accomplishment, and I'll be very happy for Eric May to be able to say for the rest of his life he was a captain on the 21 team in, in the best conference in college basketball. Do you get wrapped up in bubble talk at all, or do you pay no. attention to it this time of year? No, because, you know, we never know what's going to happen in that room. You never know what people are going to say, and everybody tries to predict what they're going to say, and more and more guys are getting closer to being able to predict what, what's going to come out of there. Uh, the only thing that, that we can do is take care of business with what's in front of us. Everybody's going to talk about what happens with the rest of the league this week. We just can control what happens when we play Nebraska. That's it. Do you, pay, do you pay attention to games like Kentucky and Virginia lose last night? Nothing like that. It's just too speculative. Do you or would you send a packet of information or anything like that to the committee or any, anything of that nature? Or have you done that in the past? With I've never done that before. <laughs> I suspect that you know, people get information to people on the committee and there's things that are you know, it's, you kind of feel like maybe if you don't, you're falling behind because everybody else is. And is everybody else really doing it? Do they even pay attention to it? You know, I, I think at some level, it always helps to make sure that people are aware. But I just think, I think that group of people, whoever it is at a particular time, they're sophisticated enough and they have enough information at their disposal. I don't know that they would, if it would necessarily be a positive. Maybe it would. When you look at your early non-conference schedule, some of the games may keep you down a little bit in the in the discussion. Do you, do you ever look back and thought maybe you should have revamped it a little bit or bumped no. it up? No. We did exactly what we wanted to do. And uh, we, wanted to, we wanted to win games. And we knew we had a uh, tough road in Cancun. We knew we had, you know, the... Iowa State, Northern Iowa week. A lot of people play rivalry games. They don't usually play them back to back. Uh, that's a little different. Uh, you know, we suspected we would have some other tough games, which which obviously we did uh, with a young team. Obviously, Northern Webb, Central Michigan. You know, some games like that. Uh, you know, it, it, it's great to say, you know, you're gonna. You're going to play them all, but how much traveling are you doing? Are you getting your young guys ready? Number one component in, in, in RPI is, win, is wins. If we wanted to win, uh, now you, know, you go back and say, well, boy, if we had just played a you know, team in the 150s as opposed to the 250s, you know, would that have really made a difference? Maybe. But if, if you stumble against the 150, then you say, why do we do that? You know, we got Ohio State coming up, we got Michigan State, we got enough opportunities to, to, to ratchet up our RPI. And, and we missed some opportunities to do that. You know, we, we, we beat some pretty good teams. But we also lost some, some of those teams in, in close games. So, you know, moving forward, our team next year will be substantially more experienced. We'd be more in more of a position to make some changes in that regard. And a lot of times, it's harder than you think to put the exact schedule that you want together. You know, a lot of times, if you get better, they don't want to play you. Uh, you know, so that's problematic. <coughs> and then you say, okay, we'll, we'll play the the number one team in a particular conference. That's scary, you know, because now all of a sudden, I mean, you know, I remember when I was at Siena, we went out and played Bill Self in Kansas, and it was a tie game with, with a minute to go, and they're killing a the guy after the game. He's like, you know, don't you think I knew exactly what I was doing when I scheduled Siena? You know? They won a home game, and their RPI went up. You know, so you know, maybe we have to do something like that. You know, but it's a scary moment because they were one missed shot and we're one made shot from it being a huge negative. And then you say, well, that was really foolish. We should have never played that. So it's a, it's a very.
difficult thing to plan, but I would say that we would probably spend more time thinking that through. Last year, we did what I said, and that is to put a schedule together that we thought we could handle with the young guys that we had, get them winning as we moved into the Big Ten.